My name is Asidu Abudu from Ghana. I was born in Enchi, Western Region. I have this car. This car is invented by Asidu Abudu. This car has 5 GS. This is the reverse GR. This is the 5 GS. If you want to go back, you just press this one to this side. You can go back. If you want to move forward, you press this one. It will take you forward. This is steer control. You have your trapgator here, down, left, right, right. And I have this one too. This one is for construction. This one is made by Shubaru. This thing. and I have he use a Bobo Yai engine. He use 150 horsepower. And this bike can help you to take all your goods. Something like cement, blows, sand, everything that you need, this machine can help you to take it to your work site. And I have this one. This one, look along, you call it Pragya. This one is for passengers. Let's say if you want to go use this one for commercial use, you can use this one too for commercial use. And I have another one over there. That one is the one with the soldier color. That one is another car. This one takes two passengers, and this one takes only one. And I have another one over there. That one too is another car. That one takes only one person. And I have the one over there. That one is motorcycle, a, a bicycle that uses engine. And uh, that stick over there, that one is for planting maize. You can use that machine to plant maize. I have so many things made by Asidu Abudu. 12 years old, I started doing something like craft work. Like I used empty tin, like Milo tin and this kind of milk tin to invent machines. My first invention was snail. I used wood to design snail. From that, I designed a crop pot with fine. And I, I have this one to a machine that somebody snatched your car from you. You can use your mobile phone to stop the car. And I have this one, a padlock that gives you signal when somebody try to break through. And I have this thing. Oh, I don't have all here, but I'm an inventor. So anything that you need, if you contact me, I will do it. But right now, my problem is I need somebody to invest so that I can produce all these kind of machines that you see it on your screen. OK, always I want to solve problems. Let's say if you meet somebody facing some problem somewhere, I'm trying to invent something which can suit for that person, which can solve that problem. That's why I come up with this maize planting machine, because I was plant maize with my mother, but my mother used to use stick to plant the maize. But if my, my mother dig the hole, then you have to put the maize inside. So I combined the two systems together to invent a machine. So my own, you just put the maize inside and you hit it down. You press the oscillator, then it will take two or three maize under the ground. And I have this one to, what do you call it, the, for, the shoe barrel for construction one. Sometimes Ghana here, you always use manpower. Everything that they do, they want to use manpower. That's why I came out with this technology that this one can help people to take blows and this thing by using what do you call it, petrol or something like that. So this one is made like a bobo yeah, but this one is smaller than a bobo yeah. Yeah, I use my invention to solve problems. Something like the car stolen. I use my invention to solve that kind of problem somewhere. And the cameras too, sometimes I design camera for people to catch some small small teeth somewhere. And uh, what do you call the car to here, you can use to go, if you want to travel to somewhere, you can use the car instead of you to walk. And for the bubble here to the construction one, this one, you can use this one to take cement. You see, so I have so many things to mention, but some of them are for security conscious, so I can't mention. Uh -huh. I developed this bicycle there for disabled people because sometimes they need help and they can't use the normal motorbike that you have it in the system now. So I decided to design something that it can suit them. So this one, if you can you don't you can use your leg to walk, this machine can help you to take it to anywhere. And even normal person too can use it, but definitely for the disabled people. That's why that's why I use the tray tie. You have one tie at the back and the front tie. And everything was controlled by the steer. So you can place the oscillator on your hand, you can use your hand to place the what do you call the brake, and at the same time use your hand to change it. And the transmission is automatic. So the more you turn the oscillator, more you get speed. My advice for Ghana as a whole is that they should invest in this kind of technology because if you look at Chinese, Japanese, and this kind of Americans, always they deal with machines because let's consider this thing. You, you, you do your cocoa farm in Ghana here, you take more than 10 cocoa bags before you can buy one iPhone. You get my point? So let's say if you can you use more than 20 bags of cocoa before you can get iPhone, then why is that you are not going to also try to produce this kind of phones because Ghana we always waste our time for this kind of big big work but I don't know the white people just use some few gadgets to take all our money so right now Ghanaians to, to start to produce or the Africans they should start to produce this kind of gadget because this car that you see it here 
was made by me and this car was made in Ghana here. So if I sell this one to somebody, this car can solve somebody's problem. So if I, I let's say I sell this car, I will get money from this kind of how do you call it, the Ghanaians too. And at the same time, the white people always they want to ask to learn their this only only their this how do you call it, the children start. They, they don't want us to go to the practicals. You see. So this time you should also start to invent something. If you have some ideas somewhere, just put them together and try to come up with something because Ghana you should go back to engineering or production of machines because you, you know how to fish, you know how to do farming and this kind of thing, but still you are not getting any big profit from that. So right now you should go to technology too and see what can happen to Ghana.